I want to talk about the differences between an aerial net and a sweep net and what, what one would be used for versus the other. An aerial net is made of a light weight material, usually a shear material. Uh, it has a, usually a smaller diameter uh, ring than, than the uh, heavy duty sweep net has. Um, it's normally collected, uh, used for collecting fragile insects, for instance butterflies. Uh, the lighter weight material uh, closing around the wings of a butterfly would be less likely to break those uh, wings or uh, remove the scales from the wings. Uh, and it can be used for a lot of other smaller insects. The, the advantage of the sheerness is that one can see where the insect is in the net. One disadvantage of, a, of, a, of an aerial net would be that if you did use it uh, for sweeping vegetation, it would be very likely to be torn. The material would, would be more readily torn than a, than a heavy bag on a sweep net would be. Let's talk a little bit about the sweep net. Uh, it does have a larger ring. It's a heavy steel ring normally, uh, something like about a quarter inch in diameter, uh, spring steel normally. The bag is uh, reinforced at the top to take a lot of abuse on vegetation. It's frequently used for uh, sweeping uh, row crops and for sweeping uh, vegetation such as we have around here. Uh, the advantage is uh, that the heavy ring and the, and the heavy material will not readily rip or tear. Uh, it can take a lot of abuse. Uh, the disadvantage with a, a sweep net in the heavy bag is that uh, on fragile insects like butterflies, one would be more likely to damage the wings than with a, a lighter weight and sheer material in the, in the aerial net. All right, I want to demonstrate the use of an aerial net and the use of a kill jar um, to uh, stun the contents in the, in the aerial net. And for the purpose of um, this demonstration, I do have a leaf that will simulate an insect. First thing you want to do is make sure the insect is at the bottom of the sweep net or the aerial net. Uh, grasp it near the bottom with the insect below the hand. Um, Remove the, remove the lid of the jar. Insert the aerial net into the kill jar and uh, uh, close the lid and uh, just wait long enough for the insect to be stunned. You do want to be careful if there's a stinging insect in the, in the aerial net that you don't touch the insect through the net and get stung. Basically we would just hold the, the jar like this uh, long enough for the uh, kill jar to stun the insect. When one is using a sweep net, once, one wants to use deliberate motion. Uh, you want to sweep in front of you and across uh, your, your path of, of direction. Um, you want to bring the, the sweep net up fully and then bring it back down, much like this. And uh, I will demonstrate actually sweeping some vegetation now. want to demonstrate how to transfer an insect that's in a sweep net to a, a plastic bag. The first thing you want to do is make sure the insect is at the bottom of the net. So you would pop it several times like that. Grasp it near the bottom but not completely at the bottom. Take a plastic bag, invert the bag over the sweep net, inverted sweep net, and slowly work the sweep net bottom up towards close the bag.